Piper is one of the longest standing brawlers in Brawl Stars. She wasn't one of the OG brawlers in the game like Shelly, Colt, or Nita, but she was the first brawler that was added after the initial beta release. As you all know at this point, she is an epic brawler who has low health but can deal massive damage. She was an extremely revolutionary brawler in 2017 and still remains unique in the current landscape of Brawl Stars due to her unique mechanic of her damage scaling based on distance. And with her being in the game since 2017, she has a very long and detailed history. So in this video, we're going to take a deep dive into the entire history of Piper. From her balance changes, remodels, skins, and everything else, we're going to cover all of it. Since we have a lot to cover, this video is going to be pretty long, so let's not waste any more time and get right into it. But really quick, only a small percentage of my viewers are subscribed, so if you do enjoy, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. It's completely free. Piper was released in Brawl Stars on July 3rd, 2017. As previously mentioned, she was the first brawler added after the initial bunch, and she was also a part of the game's first ever update. There were some balance changes prior to this, but this was the first major update in the game's history. In this update, they also added the showdown map Feaster Famine and the El Rey El Primo skin, but Piper of course was the highlight. Upon her release, she was really good. She had one of the longest ranges in the game, with Brock and Ricochet being the only two brawlers that had more, and combining that range with her super allowing her to escape from any sticky situation made her one of the top brawlers in the game. Due to her dominance, the Brawl Stars team wasted no time at nerfing her. In fact, Piper's first four balances were all nerfs because she was so good. The first nerf came on July 6, 2017, only three days after her release. In this nerf, her super recharge rate was nerfed by 25%, meaning that the damage from her super would charge her next super much less. However, Piper still remained really good after this balance. So, she would get nerfed again the very next month on August 16th, 2017. In this balance update, she would get two nerfs. First, her main attack damage was decreased from 460 to 440 at max range, and the damage of each of her super grenades was reduced from 300 to 200. One thing to note is that Brawl Stars had a much different damage and health system compared to what's in the game now, so that's why these damage numbers are so low. They rework it in a future update, and we'll talk about that here in a minute. The damage nerf here was nice, but this super nerf was massive. The main reason they did this was because they wanted Piper's super to be mainly for the purpose of escaping rather than dealing damage, which makes sense when you think about it. However, the damage from her main attack was still oh so strong, so she would have to get nerfed yet again. On September 4th, 2017, her attack damage was nerfed from 440 to 420 at max range. After all of this, Piper was much worse than she used to be, and I guess that's kind of expected when you get four consecutive nerfs. At this moment in time, she still remained a solid long range option who was highly useful in bounty and some gem grab maps as well, but didn't have much utility elsewhere. Also at this time, two new brawlers were added. Pam and Terra. While neither of these brawlers directly countered Piper, they did provide more usage than her in some situations. Unfortunately, her usage rates kinda plummeted and her short-lived reign of Terra was over and she was kind of an afterthought in Brawl Stars. Continuing later in the Brawl Stars beta, the game received a massive update. In this update, the HP and damage of all brawlers was multiplied by 4 to make it similar to the system that exists currently. I mentioned earlier how the system would be changed, and this was that change. However, the most important change in this update was that Piper received her first star power on December 7th. Of course, this was Ambush. With the star power, Piper gains extra damage from her shots whenever she is standing in a bush. As expected, this would make Piper stronger in maps that had a decent amount of bushes. Piper's damage was already a lot, and then her star power just took that number and said, hey, let's increase that a bit. Of all the first star powers that were released, Ambush was kind of middle of the pack. Its balance came from Brawl Stars map designs and how they're fairly diverse in their bush composition. If bushes were abundant, then it made Piper stronger, and if there were just a few bushes, then she could still use them, just maybe not as effectively. Since all brawlers technically got buffs with their star powers, they all got stronger in their own regard, and Piper became just a little bit better as a result. She still wasn't that great though, so Brawl Stars gave her some changes that ultimately buffed her. On January 17th, 2018, 
Piper received two changes. Her reload speed was decreased from 3 seconds to 2.5 seconds, and her damage was decreased from 1680 to 1480. Despite her damage being nerfed, the buff to her reload speed resulted in her being able to fire off more shots, making this feel more like a buff compared to a nerf. However, this change didn't do too much to help her. She was pretty much the worst brawler in the game at this point, and other long range brawlers like Brock were just better in all aspects. If you were to look up the definition of fell off in the dictionary, then Piper would be the very first result. So with the next update, Brawl Stars decided to take this version of Piper and basically revert her to the way she was when she was first released. On March 21st, 2018, Piper received five changes, and that's still the most she's received in one update all these years later. First, she received two buffs. Her main attack damage was buffed from 1480 to 1560, and her attack projectile size was buffed to make it easier to hit targets. Now these next three changes she got were pretty interesting, so let's break them down. First, her range was nerfed to be in view of the screen, and her movement and projectile speed were increased just like every other brawler in the game at that time. The reason for these changes were because Brawl Stars was undergoing some pretty big gameplay overhauls. This was the revolutionary change where Brawl Stars was switched to be landscape instead of portrait. It's safe to say that the game wouldn't be the same without this update, and it pretty much resulted in a complete overhaul. To compensate for this massive change, every brawler had to be adjusted, which is why their movement speeds and projectile speeds were increased. Then for Piper and other long range brawlers, their attack range had to be nerfed to match the new screen orientation. All of these changes combined basically resulted in Piper becoming the best brawler in the game. Especially with her increased projectile size, she was nasty with auto aim. A long range brawler with good auto aim yeah, that's not so healthy for the meta. The Brawl Stars devs would quickly realize this and nerf her just two days later. It's really interesting how Piper has had multiple time periods of extreme dominance, but they've only lasted for a few days at a time. Anyway, on March 23rd, 2018, Piper's attack projectile speed was nerfed by 3%, and her projectile size was nerfed by 33%. Yep, she was no longer dominant. Pretty sad, but also well-deserved at the same time. Her viability pretty much became isolated to Bounty, where she was a top brawler, and she was basically trash everywhere else. At this point, we're getting relatively close to Brawl Stars global release, and Piper only has two more changes before then, so we're gonna go over these really quickly, and then we'll get to her history in the post-global era. On April 9th, 2018, Piper's main attack damage was increased from 1560 to 1640, and the cooldown between her shots was nerfed from 0.25 seconds to 0.5 seconds. Then, on May 29th, 2018, her reload time was buffed from 2.5 seconds to 2.3 seconds. And on that note, those are the last changes that Piper received during the Brawl Stars beta. During this time, she had some short-lived highs, literally spanning only days, and some pretty low moments which spanned the majority of her gameplay experience. But ultimately, she did cement herself as one of the game's quintessential long-range brawlers, and she still excelled in bounty despite her constant fluctuations. Alright, let's break down where Piper stood at the point of Brawl Stars Global Release in December 2019. Well, to summarize, she was alright. Actually, she wasn't really great at all to be completely honest. As it's pretty much been in her entire history, she was good in Bounty, but pretty below average everywhere else. This is a common theme with Piper throughout her entire history. No matter what the situation in the meta is, you can always count on her being good in Bounty. A lot of Bounty maps are very wide open or contain patches of bushes, which works perfectly for Piper's kit. Her first balance change after global release wouldn't be for a while as it came in April. On April 15th, 2019, Piper received three changes to her super. Each grenade was buffed from 800 to 900 damage, she got an extra grenade increasing the count from 3 to 4, and then her grenades were spaced out a bit. Can you guess what this did for Piper? Basically nothing. That's what. As previously mentioned, the purpose of Piper's super is escapability, not really to do damage. While having more bombs that do more damage over a larger area is great, it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. The situations in which you'll actually get kills with these bombs are very rare, unless a Mortis dashes right under Piper when she has her super or something like that. There are some Mortis players that are stupid enough to do that, but most of them are smarter than that. Or are they? Anyway, 
Piper wouldn't receive her next change until August 14th, 2019, where she would receive her second star power just like every other brawler. This star power, of course, was Snappy Sniping. Upon release, when equipped, Piper would receive 0.5 ammo for every shot that she hit. So if she hit someone, then she would basically reload half of an ammo slot. This star power was massive for Piper. It basically cut her reload speed in half and allowed her to hit 5 consecutive shots without needing to reload. The thing that I personally love about this star power is that it rewards high skill gameplay. Piper is a relatively difficult brawler to play because her shots are relatively hard to hit and you have to be smart about how you dodge shots as well because of her low HP. So with this star power, if you're smart with your positioning and hit your shots consistently, then this star power rewards that and makes Piper overall a much deadlier brawler. And what made this star power even better is that it didn't just work on brawlers. It worked on other things like Bruce, Jesse's turret, and even the heist safe. Now Piper is rarely used in heist, but hey, it made her somewhat of an option, I guess? It's safe to say that snappy sniping would instantly become the better star power. Ambush was still decent and had its use case cases, but it requires playing around bushes in a way that restricts your movement throughout the game. On the other hand, snappy sniping can be used under any situation. As long as you can hit your shots, then snappy sniping is almost always the better option. And if you can't hit your shots, well, then that's just a skill issue. However, it's not just me that realized the strength of snappy sniping. The Brawl Stars team realized as well. So only a couple weeks after its release, they decided to nerf Snappy Sniping and then also buff Ambush. On August 29, 2019, Snappy Sniping's ammo gain was reduced from 0.5 to 0.4 and Ambush was buffed so its bonus damage was increased from 400 to 500. However, this wasn't nearly the most important thing that occurred on this day for Piper. Yeah, the balances were cool, but we also got... Piper finally got the remodel that she deserved. It's safe to say that she was looking a little rough, especially compared to some of the new brawlers that were being released at the time. So it was well deserved. Her colors were much more vibrant, her face became more angular, and overall she just looked much better. However, there was one bad thing that came with this remodel. Her new profile icon. It's safe to say that this is a pretty cursed image. Her not having any teeth just looks super weird and makes me kind of uncomfortable to look at. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this and then leave you with the updated version that they released shortly after. Much better. The Piper remodel was also a momentous occasion for her because it allowed her to finally get skins. So with the same update she was remodeled, she got her first skin, Pink Piper. Basically, it's just a recolor. Instead of being blue, she's pink. No animation changes, no unique voice lines just being pink. It currently costs 29 gems and back then it was 500 star points so at least you could get it for free and it was relatively cheap back in 2019. Rest in peace star points by the way. Piper's new remodel unfortunately wasn't coupled with her being much better. As previously mentioned she still pretty much remained isolated to bounty but not much else. Her ambush star power still remained a somewhat lackluster option so they decided to buff it yet again and this buff was pretty massive. On October 9th 2019 the extra damage from Ambush was increased from 500 all the way to 800. Her super grenades were also reworked to be in a fixed position, but that isn't too important. With this buff to Ambush at max range while in a bush, Piper could now take out Tick in one shot, which is just ridiculous. Poor Tick. So yeah, this buff actually made Piper decent again, not just in Bounty, but also in gem grab maps where there were a lot of bushes which is awesome. Although, as with the previous two times where Piper was viable outside of Bounty, she got nerfed. In fact, she received two nerfs in back-to-back -back months. On October 23rd, 2019, her main attack damage was decreased from 1,640 to 1,600, and then decreased from 1,600 to 1,520 on November 7th, 2019. After these nerfs, she still remained a pretty decent brawler in the 3v3 game modes, but of course was worse because she couldn't do as much damage. This, however, marks an interesting point in the history of Piper. This was the first point in time Time which Piper had been genuinely viable in multiple 3v3 game modes for a extended period of time. Despite the nerfs, she remained a pretty solid brawler in the game who had utility beyond bounty, with that primarily being in gem grab. It took the Brawl Stars team a couple of years to get her to this point, but hey, they finally did it, and it's pretty cool to see. Although really quick, let's rewind a bit and talk about another positive addition that Piper had in between these balance changes, and that was the addition of her second ever skin, 
Calavera Piper. At the time, it was an 80 gem skin and really the first skin that changed Piper's appearance. The word Calavera means skull in Spanish and it is commonly used in the context of Dia de los Muertos, which is a holiday celebrated primarily in Mexico on November 1st. One thing they do is decorate skulls in an elegant manner to honor the deceased, and that's where this Piper skin is inspired from. It's also kind of the inspiration for Poco as well. Anyway, back to the skin. It's pretty solid, but nothing too crazy to be honest. There's no drastic animation changes, but as I said, Piper looks much different with this skin. Also, it's an exclusive Brawloween skin, which does add some extra value to it. This next phase of Piper's history is really interesting for a few reasons. Throughout the entirety of 2020, Piper only received two balances, which is an extremely stark decrease compared to how she's been tweaked pretty consistently throughout her entire history so far. When you think about it, it kind of makes sense though because she was actually a pretty balanced brawler in the game. However, she did receive quite a few other changes that weren't balances, so let's take a look at those. First up, on Valentine's Day 2020, we got the introduction of yet another skin, which is Cupid Piper. And let me just say, this skin is absolutely beautiful. For 149 gems, you get a custom brawler model and animations, and it is worth every single penny. However, the crazy thing is that even though this is one of my favorite skins in the entirety of Brawl Stars, it isn't even my favorite skin for Piper. But we'll get to that one in a bit. This next change is a bit more important as it isn't cosmetic at all, but it was the addition of Piper's first gadget on March 17th, 2020, and it was called Auto Aimer. This gadget was pretty weird upon its release, and it's still kind of weird in 2024, despite functioning totally differently. Upon release, when activated, Piper would shoot out four small projectiles in rapid succession that would each deal 400 damage. And yeah, this was honestly hot garbage. I mean, yeah, I guess it could help burst down an enemy that was up close if you were in a sticky situation, but is that really worth what you're getting? As you can imagine, a rework was in store for this gadget, and it received one shortly after its release. On May 13th, 2020, the gadget was reworked to fire one single projectile that only does 100 damage, but it knocks the enemy back and slows them down for 0.5 seconds. Despite a rework, once again, it was hot garbage. This gadget is honestly just fundamentally flawed. Like I said earlier, it can help a bit if brawlers get too close to her, but a good Piper player will know how to keep her distance. I don't want to spend any more time on this because it genuinely just isn't a good gadget. So yeah, that's the end of the discussion for this. Although one last point that I do want to make is that most other brawlers got gadgets that actually help them and buff them, but Piper's gadget basically did nothing to her and allowed other brawlers to power creep ahead of her in the meta. She remained viable and a solid option in most 3v3 game modes, but she didn't get a buff like other brawlers did with their gadgets. Luckily though, Piper would be a part of the first batch of brawlers to receive their second gadgets. But before that, she got her true silver and true gold skins on July 2nd, 2020. Just thought I would throw them in here really quick. Nothing too crazy, but still worth mentioning, I figured. Going back to her second gadget, she received homemade recipe on July 15th, 2020, and it's safe to say that this is an S tier gadget. When activated, Piper's next projectile would act almost as a homing missile and even increase her range by an additional four tiles. For a brawler with one of the longest ranges in the game, to receive a gadget that increases that range and made it easier to hit enemies was just insane. Easily one of the better gadgets in the game and the gadget that Piper truly deserved to begin with. Interestingly enough though, it didn't change her spot in the meta too much. This honestly really didn't have to do with her though, and it was more so just to do with the absolutely absurd meta at the time. I talked about this in my History of Leon video, but Gale, Surge, and Mr. P was basically just the go-to team comp for every game mode, and then the other brawlers were just kind of left in the dust, to be honest. Piper's range and escape ability was enough to keep her relevant, but this meta was just absolutely ridiculous. If you were playing Brawl Stars during the summer of 2020, then you know how absolutely absurd this team comp was. Piper's next change was on August 18th, 2020, and her homemade recipe gadget received a 15% nerf to its range. As mentioned, this gadget gave Piper an extra four tiles of range, so this nerf makes a lot of sense to be honest. It's not really something I think you can argue, as this gadget was kinda overpowered, 
so the nerf was necessary to make it a little bit less overpowered. All right, really quickly, let's go through the rest of the changes in 2020, and then we need to pause for a quick second and have a discussion about the future of Piper. On September 10th, 2020, both Piper and her pink Piper skin were slightly remodeled. I'll be honest, I can't find any gameplay changes of what features were actually reworked, but that's what the Brawl Stars wiki said, so I'll just go with it. Next, on October 22nd, 2020, Piper, Cupid Piper, and Pink Piper all got facial animations. On December 4th, 2020, Piper received her fourth skin, and that's Choco Piper. This was a skin collaboration with Line and Friends, and to be honest, this skin is nothing too special, especially for a relatively expensive price point of 79 gems. I mean, it doesn't look bad at all, but if you want a Piper skin that is pink, then just go with Pink Piper. Pink Piper doesn't look as good, but it's 50 gems cheaper, which is a big difference. And the last change that Piper received in 2020 was actually a buff to her snappy sniping star power. In December 15th, 2020, the star power was buffed to having 0.4 ammo gain compared to the previous mark of 0.3. I realized while recording this that I forgot to mention when the snappy sniping star power got nerfed to 0.3, but that was on September 18th, 2019. So yeah, sorry about that. Also, her super landing range was marked with an X, but that was just a minor visual change. This buff wasn't anything too crazy, and Piper pretty much remained where she had been for a while now. Decent, but nothing too special. You know what's really crazy? That last balance change that Piper received to her snappy sniping star power in 2020 would be the last balance change she would receive until 2023. That's insane for a brawler to go that long without a balance change. Now you might think that this is a bad thing, but I honestly view it as a good thing. Piper had finally gotten to a point where she was a well-balanced brawler in the game. Now, she wasn't necessarily exceptional, but she was pretty good and stable. Considering her insane fluctuations early on, where she ranged from being really good to really bad, finally finding some semblance of balance is a pretty cool achievement, I think. And even within this realm of her being stable, she did have some metas where she was better than others, allowing her to shine brighter a little bit on occasion. So while we have a while until we get to some balances, we still have a few changes to talk about. There's a bunch of small ones here and there, like slight animation changes and stuff like that, so we won't go in depth with those, but let's highlight the big stuff. First up, oh man we have something absolutely incredible. And that is Lunar Piper added on September 15th, 2021. In my opinion, this is Piper's best skin, and it is also one of my favorite skins in all of Brawl Stars. You get a completely different brawler model, animation changes, custom textures, the whole package. To be completely honest though, one of the reasons why I like this skin so much doesn't even have to do with Brawl Stars, but it has to do with anime. I don't know if it's intentional or not, but this skin reminds me a lot of Usagi from Sailor Moon. It was one of the first anime that I ever watched, and it will always hold a special place in my heart because of that. Maybe it's because Lunar Piper has kind of a rabbit theme, and the name Usagi means rabbit in Japanese, but there's definitely a connection there, at least to me. But yeah, for 149 gems, I would absolutely recommend. Next up, we have another skin, and that is Mariposa Piper, that was added on March 6th, 2023. Once again, yet another amazing Piper skin. This was the Power League skin for the Mystery at the Hub season, but of course you can still get it now if you want. Just like Lunar Piper, this skin has literally anything you could want, including a really cool custom animation in the lobby. And bringing things back around to anime once again, this skin reminds me a lot of Yor from Spy X Family. She has that super cool assassin vibe where she can be both sweet and deadly both simultaneously, just like Yor. Maybe I watch too much anime, but these parallels are things I tend to notice. And again, for 149 gems, this is a pretty solid value skin. Alright, now it's finally time we talk about the last couple balance changes Piper has received up until this point. On September 5th, 2023, Piper received a nerf, buff, and rework all at once. Her attack damage was buffed from 1,520 to 1,700. Her homemade recipe gadget range was decreased by 33% and she, along with every other brawler in the game, received a rework to rescale their health and damage based on power level. In terms of this gadget, while 33% is a large number, 
this honestly didn't do too much. It's still Piper's better gadget, and having three bullets that can hone in on an enemy brawler is still super valuable to have. Now this damage buff though, this was absolutely huge. During this multi-year stretch without any balances, Piper still remained a good brawler in the game. But despite this, they still decided to give her this pretty significant damage buff. And just like that, with this one buff, Piper had finally come full circle. She had once again, after an incredibly long time, become one of the best brawlers in the game. Truly a beautiful sight to see if you ask me. Slightly annoying at times, but still beautiful. And as of right now, during February 2024, when this video will be posted, she has still retained this position as one of the better brawlers in the entire game. Very epic indeed. Now, before we wrap things up, we have two more things to talk about. First, on October 24th, 2023, Piper got reworks to both her auto aimer gadget and her ambush star power. Both received damage buffs and were also made to scale with power levels as well. For auto aimer, you can basically forget this change ever happened. Please still use homemade recipe, but for ambush, it was a solid buff. I would still go with snappy sniping if you're good with shots, but this buff definitely made ambush a slightly more intriguing option for those maps with bushes. Alright, that was the entire history of Piper. Except for actually one more thing that I just remembered. We got another skin, Flag Bearer Piper. And yeah, she's a really interesting one might say. As of me writing the script and recording this audio, she isn't released in game yet, but she might be when this video is posted. I'll be honest, she's a little too flashy for my liking with her incredibly bright colors. But for 149 gems, you're definitely getting some value. Okay, now let's actually do the conclusion. This video is really long, and that's because Piper has had a really long and detailed history. Interestingly enough though, most of it comes from 2017 through 2020. It took a while for the Brawl Stars team to find a good spot for Piper in the meta, but for their persistence, I give them a lot of credit. And once they did finally find a good spot for her in the meta, her changes were pretty minimal after that. Early on, she had multiple phases of being really strong strong and really bad, then she became pretty much isolated to bounty for a while, but now she's worked her way to becoming a viable brawler in almost all aspects of Brawl Stars. She's a super fun and satisfying brawler to play due to her high range and damage output, and when you combine that with her beautiful skins, it makes her one of my personal favorite brawlers in Brawl Stars. Thank you all for watching this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Watch these other two videos that are right here, and I hope you all have a nice rest of your day.